this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have another graduation card. Now this is a female graduation card and I have to say I'm really excited about it and I will show you why in a minute. Now first of all I have pulled everything out of my scrap um, bin. I keep my scraps organized by color and I probably keep more scraps than I should and probably more than a lot of you do but I was able to find scraps that were even large enough to make card bases. I don't know what I had done with the other half. So I made two cards, um, this, or I made one, and this will be the second one out of the same set of scraps. So let's get started. Now the first thing that I'm using is um, some of my buttons. So I pulled that, and I'm gonna set those aside because they, they create a glare off of my camera. Then I'm going to be using this Stampendous um, stamp that I have um, purchased for, um, graduation. I used my, I think it's a two inch circle punch. Um, this is the paper that is kind of my inspiration paper. And like I said, I had a nice scrap of it. I don't know where I got it. Um, probably my local scrapbooking store before it went out of business. It's just kind of a fun, it's purple and it's just kind of fun. Um, I'm using my distress inking tool. I'm using seedless preserves distress ink. I'm using iris ribbon from Three Girl Jam, and then from Really Reasonable Ribbon, I have this pretty lace that I'll be using as well. I'm also using Octagon's number eight, and that's where we're going to start. I'm sorry, not Octagon's number eight, it's scalloped octagons. And um, I believe it's the large scallop octagon set. And so I have, I use this size and then this size up from it, this one is still attached. It's just got a piece of washi tape on the back because I actually embossed this one and we're going to do a little bit of inking. Um, I don't want it to be too bright and I did try um, looking at both the Dusty Concord and this one and I just like the way that this one matched my paper better. It seemed to be a better match for the purples. And so I am um, coming out from the outside and I'm covering most of it. It almost gives it a um, colored paper fill, but you'll see in a minute how it makes a nice border. This is just white Georgia Pacific cardstock that I printed my sentiment on. The same one I've used for um, the mail cards that we did earlier. Now, one of the things I'm going to want to do is clean off my die before I put it away, because I'll forget if I don't clean it off now. Okay, so that's right there. So we've got that, and then you see it has this nice white border around it. Now this is the size up that I, um, I have already done, and the, the purples are quite different between the ink and the paper um, in this one, but you'll see how that they all, because there are so many purples in that stripe pattern, you'll see how they all coordinate together. And again, these were just papers that I pulled out of my um, scrap stash. So you never know what you're going to find in your scrap stash that you can use. So now let's move over to a card base. Um, the paper that I had used, I must have cut a small, I must have used card borders or something because I had quite a bit of width. I think I had about another probably two, three inches on this and it was the full 11 inch side. So this is going to be a top, a bottom opening card. It's going to open like this. And we are going to go to the inside first. Um, and so I, the inside is going to be very simple. Oops, that's not the one I cut for this. Sorry about that. Just a very simple finished off, um, in the inside and I'm just going to put some stripe and I actually had decided on this well on the other one I put it on the top because I was thinking about rounding the corners and then I decided not to so I think on this one I'm going to put it on the bottom so just to finish that off there and then this is where I'm going to use the cap and gown I mean the cap not the cap and gown but just the cap and that will go right, I'm gonna put this kind of at an angle up here, and then I'll have plenty of room to write my, my message down below. And so that's all I'm doing to the inside. So I can set that aside and clean off my stamp. Okay, 
Now let's move on to the front of the card. I have this large stripe piece and that's just going on the top. This is actually a pretty simple card. Um, you'll see in a minute, but I really like the way it turned out. And it's very, very feminine by the time you get the lace and my other finishing touch on it. So that's going to go right there. And then we're going to do the lace. Now the lace is going to fit right across the top and I cut it a little bit wide. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to be able to trim it. I don't know about you, but usually if I just try to put lace or something on, a lot of times I'll end up cutting it too short if I try to cut it exactly even. And so I would rather cut it a little bit wide, just a little bit, because I don't want to waste a lot, and then go back and just trim off the edges so that they're even. And you might be wondering where the ribbon's going to go where I've got lace on there already, but you'll see. Okay, so now this is going to go down right about here, and I'm kind of putting it more towards this right side of the, the card. Right about like that. I would even overlap it a bit, but I want to be sure that it's going to fit into my envelope. So there we have that. And now for the final piece. I made this flower, and I'll tell you, this is the second successful, I've made flowers before, but I've kind of struggled with them. And I am going to put a link to a video below this video. Um, one of my design team sisters over at um, Three Girl Jam did an excellent tutorial on making flowers. And finally, I figured out, after following her tutorial, um, how to make a flower. I have struggled with them. I, I tried a similar technique to that video using hot glue, um, several months ago and I could make it work. I've also tried it with wet glue and I could make that work. But when I followed the way that Abby did it in her tutorial, it finally worked for me. So what I did is I, this is, I have a, a scrap piece that, that coordinates just in case any of it shows through. And I made my flower on top and then I found a button and put it as the center. And that is going to be the top part. Now I want to put a little bit of glue down, quite a little bit of glue, um, because I don't want to lose my flower. Um, I think, I know that one of the, I made two of these cards, and I'll show you the other one in a minute. And one of them I don't plan on mailing, and I'm hoping the other one I won't have to either. Um, this, These buttons have, the buttons that I use for these flowers today have a shank on them, and so it would cost extra postage plus I would probably have to put it in a padded envelope because I just think it would fall apart through the mail if I didn't but I think because I don't have to mail either one of them I'll be okay so there we have the finished card for graduation um, and the inside is all done and then this is the other one that I made and it's very similar only I used a different button and they both match and they're both very pretty so there we have a card for a female so thanks so much for stopping by today and remember to take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.